today I have with me my colleague uh, Luca from engineering and he's going, <laughs> hi Luca, and he's going to tell us more about uh, his remote working experience. So thank you very much uh, Luca for taking the time and welcome to the call. Um, and yes, I guess I can start maybe directly with uh, the first question that I would like to ask you and that is uh, if you have faced any challenges so far while working remotely and how did you deal with uh, those challenges? So thank you. Thank you for having me first. And yeah, uh, so this is my first time having a full remote job job, uh, and not like because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So most of the challenges that I faced were very personal to me. And uh, most of them were related to setting up a routine uh, when you work remotely. Because previously my routine was like getting out of bed, getting on a train and get, getting into the office. Uh, but now it was completely different. So I, that, I have to set up a routine for myself, which sounds easy, but it really wasn't at the start. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, the secret that I found, at least for me personally, is that I needed to find events that would define the start of my working day and the end of my working day. And that, those events could be anything that you want. Like maybe you start the, the day, like uh, you do your daily, your morning run, and then you start working, or and then uh, 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 in the afternoon, you like, I'm gonna start reading a book at six. So that that's mm -hmm. gonna be like my end of the day uh, kind of routine. So that setting this, the, the, those things up took some time, but uh, after I got adjusted, I think that uh, it worked fine. And another challenge that I could say I face is, of course, uh, getting used to the team uh, habits and like inner workings. It takes uh, some time and some observing because since you're not there with people live, you miss some, a lot of like communication, like body language communication that you don't see. Um, so it takes some time. It, 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 there is a, a lot of questions that you need to ask to the team because because of, you cannot see those those you, you don't have those information anymore. So you need to ask them, and then it takes some time observing uh, to like get adjusted and get into the. Uh, dynamics of the team correctly. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And of course, I assume that when you start working remotely, apart from the actual work, of course, there is also the onboarding uh, process in the beginning. That's completely different uh, from when you are in the office. So can you maybe also tell us a little bit about how was the remote onboarding for you? Was it easy? Was it difficult? What did it look like? So uh, onboarding uh, towards the team and the company was super easy. Uh, for the, the team was super welcoming. I was really amazed in the first few days. I, I, felt, I felt very, very, very happy that everyone was, uh, like, was so welcoming. And then we also have like the usual onboarding, company onboarding. So I had a chance to meet other teams, to meet like uh, management, uh, C-level, and uh, actually also meet Mats and uh, Simon. So that, that, was, that was nice. And... Um, so yeah, the morning was, was really great, I would say. Since you have experienced both remote work and also working uh, in the office in the past, not at Trinto, but in the previous roles, can you maybe tell us what do you prefer between those two? And what do you like more most about working remotely? So uh, first thing that comes to mind is flexibility. Um, my life, my working life doesn't, re doesn't revolve anymore around train tables, which is amazing. <laughs> like, uh, there is a lot of time that you waste, that usually people waste when they commute to work. And that's something really that once you realize it, that you have this time, it's kind of a of game changing. It's a different thing, completely different thing. And another thing that is very important to me is that uh, it allows me to work for a multicultural environment. So I'm working for a German company. Uh, all of my colleagues, most of my colleagues, they're coming from all around the world. So I can get to know different cultures, different people, uh, which uh, maybe is not as easy to do in, like, uh, in an office, uh, if you work like in a specific office. Um, that's definitely true. And can you tell me, uh, is there anyone uh, from Gindor from your team that has been especially helpful uh, during your transition to working completely from home. So, like I said, everyone from my from my team was super welcome. Uh, I felt uh, my uh, at ease, and I feel uh, very like welcome from the team. 
Uh, and actually, after just a few days, I was be able to be very productive and contribute, mm -hmm. which I think is like a milestone that you need to have when you join a new team. It's like, uh, what's the time between uh, that you turn productive into the team? And um, yeah, so uh, gym newers are assigned uh, uh, a mentor from their team uh, that uh, will introduce uh, the, the new member to all the team dynamics and team events and like actually uh, getting the work done. So I had Elio that was assigned to me and it was great uh, introducing me to all, all, all of the things that we need to, uh, that, that I would need to know to um, do my day-to-day -day work in the team. Great. And can I ask you, and that would be, I guess, the last question for today, how do you connect with your team also outside the working hours? So, um, we, you, okay, we connect with the team with the user, you know, we have Slack, we have Zoom. Mm -hmm. And as an engineer, it's also very important for us to connect through GitHub, of course, to because we need to manage all of the code there. And there are a lot of discussion happening also there. And outside the working hours, we have a lot of meetings set up uh, within the team that actually aren't about work. And that's really great. So, because we can get to know each other and we get to talk stuff that is not work. And I think that also makes the difference between like a healthy uh, relationship with, uh, with your co colleagues and one that is just like, I just know them because I work with them, mm -hmm. but having this kind of meeting help us to actually uh, get to know the person and not just the coworkers. Um, yeah, that sounds great. Yes, then I would like to thank you, Luca, very much uh, for your time. It was very nice talking to you and getting to know your experience. And see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.